CP1114G small block Chevy polymer motor mounts. These are from Classic Performance. Motor mount goes here. So these go on the bracket in the cradle of the car.
leave today, I'm going to mill aluminum. I'm doing depth per pass at 0.15 inches. I'm keeping the step over at 0.113 inches. I'm leaving the spindle speed at the maximum, which is 7,500 RPM, but the feed rate I am reducing to 40 inches per minute and the plunge rate to 15 inches per minute. And this slows it all down and gives it plenty of time to clear out ships. And that seems to be working. Okay, uh, the system almost broke itself. It got caught in a pocket, it couldn't get out, and so it was just like jerking all over the place, and I just had to shut it all down. So you can see this is really smooth though. So there were a couple of areas where it was having problems. Right here is where it would make the step down on every pass, so it would come around here and then step down and then continue on the path and go all the way around. You could see after a while something was happening here where it was messing up both probably all the dimensions. It was slipping on the Z, X, and Y. And it started chipping through here. It's trying to take too big of a bite because once it got miscalibrated it tried to swing in here and when it tried to swing in here it was basically trying to take off a quarter inch bite which the system just can't do. And I changed one thing on this. I tried to make it machine a little bit faster and I had a debt. Depth per pass of 0.015 inches and I changed it to 0.02. <laughs> and I think that five thousandths of an inch screwed it up. But this bolt pattern's great. Well, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-machine both brackets. Good news is I have enough data in this setup because this is the final plate thickness that I can start cutting these tubes for offsets and, and stop using this cheesy wood bracket I got back here. And I can start lining up the pulley and get my final pulley dimension. I've barely got enough clearance on the pulley side to run the belt right up against it. The belt must be running as close to the front face of pier as possible. Other than that though, I mean, at least in this direction, it's really rigid. In this direction, bending and bending out this way, it's not. And that's why this guy is so critical. This is the one that's been off. It's the furthest out head bolt. And that one will do a lot to 
strengthen it up in this direction so it doesn't bend like that. Other than that, things are pretty good. I mean, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get this far, so 